Hello everyone, my name is Nopad Anon and I write games for fun. So what are we doing today? Today we're going to be working on Slaves of Chaos. Now, dealing how this is going to be a fun stream, i.e. this is a Notepad Must Die stream. And you may be wondering, what the hell is a Notepad Must Die stream? A Notepad Must Die stream means we're going to pretty much power our way through a specific section of this monstrosity. And it's going to suck. But... What we need to do today is we need to get the entirety of racial creation done. This is our main goal. If we can get racial creation done, uh, what we'll, we'll be able to do is not only will we be able to get this done, we'll also be able to move immediately on the champion creation. My goal is to get these done today. All of this done. And I will keep going until it is done. Friday, we'll be working on this. Finally, we'll be... Probably next Monday we'll be working on cultural combat, and then next Wednesday we'll be wrapping everything up. Hopefully that's how it works. Now, hopefully and will it work is a two completely different fucking things, but that's the that's the plan for today. So we want to get racial design done. So the last time we we wrapped up how our attributes work as well as the the initial start of racial creation. Uh, let's see, attributes, skills, and traits, I should say. Alright, so. Appli where is it? Uh, the broad application. Skills are the refined specific specifics. Of a race Natural uh, race is natural. How do I want to word this? In the natural I can see the word, I can't think of the word um proficiency. Yeah, it's uh we are efficient proficiency. <sighs> I like on my Man, let's let's do something I really shouldn't do on stream. I uh, take my socks off because they are very I've been walking all day today. I've been walking around and uh, it looks like my foot actually decided to fucking heal after a while. Which is a novel concept these days, but don't worry. Things are looking up. Things are looking good for, for Notepad. And unfortunately for me, I'm going to be drinking coffee tonight, and that means I'm going to be able to power through all of this. Let's see. Iron applicant attributes prosper. Uh, skills are refined, specific ratios, natural proficiency. A skill is purchased alongside its die, alongside its die value. From there, a from there, an indiv an individual champion may increase or decrease may increase their uh, their attunement to it. However, all champions from this civilization will have will have the skill even even if it is just at a single affinity. 1DX. Actually what I should say is single affinity footnote 1DX. So, what we need to do is we need to make the skills incredibly goddamn broad, because I don't want to completely bog down everything with a huge number of skills. I don't think that's appropriate for this kind of game. I think a few key skills are going to be a lot more impactful than a lot of broads. I mean, a lot of broad... Words.
silence I can kind of make fun of. So I should uh, give more. Uh... Yeah. Ah, there we go. Snippity snap. There goes my ankles. Don't worry, life's great. I'm all right. So we need something incredibly broad. Skills would mons MGA work. Lexicon. Do I have skill systems on here? I'm pretty sure I don't. But I'm also completely kind of a fucking moron when it comes to that. Sometimes. No, it does not look like I actually have skills in here. Uh, let's try inchling. Girl, adventures. Once this game is done, we actually get to do some more fun things too. But until we get to that point, ah, skills. Mm. Give, give. Do you only have skills in this game? I could have swore we had skills. Well, actually, no, I guess we didn't have skills in Inchling. So go away, Inchling. Um, who keeps pinging me? I I swear I'm not popular. I just keep getting pinged on fucking Discord by people being just like, let me tell you about my life story now. I'm like, no, begone. I do not care. I do not care. Uh, so let's keep skills. Let's do our basic of athletics, melee combat, outdoorsmanship, investigation, networking, uh, words, ranged weapons. Wait, but let's do stealth, academics, mechanics. What I should say is cut this, stick fisticuffs, melee weapons. I want this to be more of the idea that this is like a uh, like a natural thing for these people to kind of deal with. Like, it's just like, our, our culture is built around this idea, or like, our, we are naturally kind of inclined to be able to do this. That's kind of the idea behind things, so... I'm trying to think of other skills or actual skills at the top of my head. If anyone's got any ideas, feel free to post them. I'm, I'm open for anything at this point. Now, Tail Talk. Tail Talk doesn't have anything. I know that much. Iron Cascus doesn't have anything. Or it's a darkness, maybe? No. It's a darkness wouldn't have anything I'm looking for. Painted Bloodlines. Oh, God. You know, you know we're getting serious when we have to go into Tainted Bloodlines to find something. Oh, good God. Hello, Chunky, Chunky Game. Hello, how are you? Uh, give me skills. Uh, okay, so cut words, replace it with mercantile, uh, intimidation, diplomacy, uh, athletics, acrobatics, uh, outdoorsmanship, outdoorsman kind of falls into that, so we don't really need, and actually we'll change out that for brawling. 
Uh, all of that's kind of... Okay, yeah, I can actually domestic. All right, yeah, make these are basic skills. I mean, they're not terribly bright. They're pretty broad. All right, so we want to do that. We want to select every all of them. We want to hit two add-on, sorted paragraph A to Z. Also, in case you're wondering how I got the text arena here, I actually had to download extensus fonts. Uh, let me see if you guys can see that. There you go, extensive fonts. This gives you all the Google fonts. Uh, that for some reason Google Drive does not, Google Docs don't let you have for some reason, even though it's all Google products, which I find is kind of weird. I actually have Stealth twice because I'm dumb. Okay, so, oh, God, I clicked something wrong. No, go away, Romanji Dessel. Dessel, Dessel. All right, so how do we want to do this? Now if we apply, these are our die values for attributes, skill die cost, text arena, update heading three to mass, skill die cost, oh, no, oh, there we go, it's weird, there's a little bit there that I don't like. I don't like it. I done like it. Oh. There we go. Forcing others to give me products. Welcome to the ex welcome to the Notepad Anon experience, where I manage to convince people who actually, for some reason, enjoy watching this content to give me, you know, give me more pro, <laughs> give me more content. It's great. So if you want to do something like this, we could do it like stacking of two, six, eight, ten. And then we just have to apply this little caveat again. You know, if they're... Yeah. You have... Going beyond, it's fine. It would be actually plus two for each. So belong. Uh, which would be two. So let's see. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve for D14, fourteen for sixteen. Actually, it would just be two less. So it would be twenty would be eighteen points. Which is still pretty significant. Uh Actually, we should put, if we do this, could the skill die cost, put the heading three there, your basic skill list. Yeah, I can, actually, these are all, let's put them in the list, academics. Complex thought. And to contort, move. Uh, contort, move, or employ agile functions. Athletics. Raw strength, uh, strength and power. Strength and power to be manipulated. Over a over a long time, over a time period, brawling, skill in fighting in un unarmed combat, diplomacy, and fight common ground with others. 
Domestic work. Uh, immediate. Simple tap. Uh, simple. Simple tasks such as cooking. Skinny, uh, such as cooking, cleaning, and other chores. Maybe wondering why the hell would you want ever want domestic work as your skill? Because you never know when you're going to be tasked to cook something or you're going to have to prepare something. Domestic work is kind of like a yeah, catch all for things I feel like doing. Uh, intimidation. Um, punt. And quote, convincing them. And as always, when it comes to intimidation, I do not view intimidation as, uh, you know, a grug, the, the barbarian throws his axe and threatens to cut your head off. No, that's not, to me, that's not intimidation. That's you threatening someone with a fucking axe. That's, it's kind of a, it's the same thing, but it's kind of a different approach. Intimidation is, is moving up to someone. And say, all right, you know, hey, you know, you do this for us, and I'll do this for you. And if you don't, a grug is going to break your kneecaps. Like it, it's, there's a lot more behind the scenes, and it's kind of like, can you back up the threat, and does people know? But I also employ the strategy of, if you can do it, then do it. Uh, you know, if like if you're a threatening motherfucker, if you're an ogre and you're nine, you know, you're nine feet tall, and you're more than willing to, you know kick someone's ass, then yeah, you're probably going to be able to convince someone to do something that they may not want to do. Because, uh, guess what? They're a giant, you're a giant fucking monster, and you can do whatever the hell you want. Investigation, observation, the methods behind deducing intentions, mechanics. Understanding of physical Physical objects and manipulation. Come back to uh, Physical object manipulation. Melee weapon. To use and employ melee we weapons such as knives, clubs, fuck. Employ melee weapons, mercantile. Understand. <laughs> Understanding of commerce and ability to buy and sell efficiently. Networking. Uh, people, people skill, people skills. When connecting with others, or, or finding the right people. People's people skill people skills connecting connecting with others or finding the right people outdoorsmen survival uh, export of uncharted ter of wild territory ranged weapons ability to use and employ ranged weaponry and tools stealth natural affinity with being able to uh, not be detected natural affinity with be not uh, with being able to actually with being able to not be detected or seen. And then what we can do. Oh, there we go. 
Oh yeah, not a lot of skills, but I don't think we need a lot of skills in this game. Because adding more skills doesn't necessarily make a game better or worse. It just means that you're adding more things. And there might be another, there might be a skill or something that I'm missing that if I find later, well, cool, I'll find it later. Uh, do uh, insert footnote. Paste without formatting, 1DX. 1DX. Uh, where X is the skill die. There we go. So, how this works is, let's say I have academics. And we're saying our people are naturally academic. You know, we have a, let's say a D8. It's going to cost us six, but every single one of our champions is going to start with one D8 in academics. We're just a naturally learned people. Like, we understand more complex thought than more others it's not like oh hey we're just smarter no it's more like we understand kind of like oh we get math a little bit better than someone else but we, we're not really good but someone with high brawling their people are just good at fighting others like this naturally speaking so now we're at traits now traits are where things get a little bit hectic so Natural features and and abilities that actually that are tied fundamentally to their being being that are not covered by attributes or skills. Traits can fall can fall into many different categories. However, the there let's say there are five main there are five main pillars that there are five main pillars that that most most traits fall into. And we're going to have to do body, mind soul and body mind and so what yeah we'll do that oh there are three main pillars body mind and soul so body traits So, body trait. Body represents the ra the race's natural bodily characteristics and abilities given given to their bodies by their their pa by their patron. Most body. Uh, an overwhelming, overwhelming number of races created by both order and chaos are bipedal, are bipedal, employ two legs and two, uh, and two arms due to their efficiency, due to their efficiency in in, in using weapons and spreading influence. However, chaos is chaos is the is the chaos is the sibling that plays that plays furthest with, with that definition and the structure of humanoid. And what I want to do actually is going to do a footnote. 
a term coined by order after they stole the right after they stole the rights to news humanity all right All right, so what are some natural traits we want to we want to include in the body category? So, I think our basic traits what we want uh, go away tainted bloodlines. Uh, we want to go to slate chaos, SDC suit. So uh, let's do basic sizes first. So we will do uh, tiny, tiny, small, average, large, huge, large, and huge. So these are going to be our sizes. Uh, we'll say we'll give them that. So we're going to say trait, description, effect, cost. That's going to be our four main ones so we want to do roboto we want to do 12 and we want to infect this everywhere all the way down okay tiny and we're going to expand d pretty big mm pretty big as well all right description mm, wait we're probably going to need no okay tiny uh the race is to three feet to let's say 2.5 feet to cm that's 76.2 centimeters two to three feet so let's do 260 to let's do 61 to 91 uh, 61 to 91 centimeters Well, this is a benefit. Some points. At others, it it's a major detriment. Wait a second, I should actually put this right here, middle. Line everything the way it should be. Up, oh, up. Oh. Uh, there we go. Face okay, so gains a bump to finesse. Gains a bump to their finesse die. But she gains two two bumps to their finesse die. But lose two bumps to there actually no that's a terrible idea all right 
and I don't want to do this because pretty much I need to dictate how tall these damn things are and the advantages of such. Actually, uh, the race possess the race possesses one wound, one wound per, per tier, possess one wound per tier, but gain but gains a plus four to their passive dodge. Uh, we'll call that at we'll, we'll do ten five zero five ten, and then we're going to do small. The race is naturally shorter, lower than most, standing standing about th uh, four to standing about three to four feet, which is going to be ninety one. 100, 122, 222 centimeter. Well, shorter they do possess. They do possess a, a small advantage. The the race. Possesses. Possesses. Uh, two wound, two wounds per tier. But gains a plus two to their passive dodge. Passive dodge. Uh, let's say average. Trace is fairly average in, in height. Ranging roughly from four, right, roughly to four to six feet, which is going to be about 122 to 183, 183 centimeters. This has no notable advantages or disadvantages. Okay, and, uh, no effect. Larger than normal. Uh, six to, six to eight feet. Which is going to be about 183 centimeters to 244, 244 centimeters. All right, to 244 centimeters. Well, taller, all taller and tougher. They do struggle in some areas, most certainly because they cannot dodge as easy. Uh, the race possesses four wounds per tier, but loses and loses a negative two to their passive dodge. Because guess what? You are just a bigger motherfucker, and you're easier to hit. And you can make a wild guess what this next one's going to be. And da -da 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 -da. Two forty four to that would be ten feet three of two three oh five centimeters to eat use They suffer through the fact that they can't get through most goddamn doors. 
being that they're very easy to hit. So actually, I should say it's body traits. So these are our basic body traits. So we've got our size ones. And now let's do our, you know, we'll do fragile. Fragile and tough. The race. Loot. can be taken up to the number of wounds they possess per tier. A negative three per The race gains what one wound per tier can be taken up to a number of can be taken a number of times up to t up to eight. Uh, we'll say actually ten wounds per tier. We'll do uh, five per wound. Uh, let's see. And then what we can do is let's think about effects. So let's see poison, fire, bleeding. Uh, let's do some status effects. Uh, let's see, poison, uh, burn, uh, let's see, poison, fire, bleeding. Yeah, let's do these three. Uh, poison, fire, uh... We'll do poison resistance, uh, poison immunity, poison susceptibility. Oh uh, God, what's a uh, what's a good word for um? Oh, I know. Poison weakness, and then fire resistance. Fire immunity. Fire susceptibility. Fire fire weakness. Are, are you sensing? Are you getting what I'm going for here? Um Poison up. Uh, 
unable unable to get the point unable to get poisoned outside especially potent or unique poisons the rate races uh physiology physiology two poison two poisonous effects the race is but prone to succumbing to poisons Searing heat of flames. Um, uh, molten material. Uh, molten, molten material. This is easily flammable. Uh, the race is is effectively uh tively uh, hemophiliacs is effectively hemophiliacs all right so how are we gonna do this so uh anytime the race anytime the race is poisoned they it depletes Uh, anytime the race is poisoned, every other every other turn.
And what we're going to do is we want to make this. Oh, uh, God. 3, 5, negative 3, negative 5. Make that a little bit more incentivized. So we've got our size, fragile toughness, our various immunities. Oh, uh, God. Let's... So... What I'm going to do, these are going to be our normal traits. Like, these are going to be our, like, quote-unquote boring ones. We'll put these right over here. There we go. We'll put, we'll put these over here so we don't got to think about them too much. Now we get into the weird ones. Uh, we're going to do uh, unique body traits. Omnivorous. Actually, what I should say is herbivore, omnivore, carnivore. Herbivore. Uh... How do you describe a herbivore? There we go. Well, naturally only consumes plant material. Population unit of the uh, twice as much food to create. Other less willing. Oh god, no been uh Actually, uh let's see. So if we use this Ivor. So yeah, mineral bore is technically uh oh, what would be the scientific name for rock? Rock. Yeah, that would be technically the
We're learning language, everybody. We're learning language. A population unit. All right, race making for a population unit of any rate. Uh, this race is constructed rather than, rather than born. As many or as few A race requires industry in instead of food to create a population unit. Every population unit, every population unit, takes and takes plus f takes um ten industry to construct, but every population unit after the first adds plus five to the num to the amount of industry industry needed. I'm dead. The race is on dead. Which what I should do is side effects. None. 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 I should actually do move these a 
over here. Make this a little bit weirder. Uh, natural uh, negative five relations to all empires who are not cannibal. Cons uh, constructs do not require, does not require, uh, cannot be poisoned, burned, or bleed, but nor require, uh, it's not, nor requires breathing. However, do uh, do not naturally heal. Do not actually heal, but require but requires a mechanics, but requires a check to repair along with materials. Undead. Set of blue to do is we go here a uh, cold blooded Oh, God, what's up? Um... <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. I go. I need to use the gentleman's quarters for a second.
Okay, I'm back. All right, what I'm gonna do actually is put unique traits here, and in seven, we're gonna call these just traits. Not, and not gonna tie them to three main ones: your know, body, mind, soul. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I don't think that's. Uh, uh, it's gonna fall into many different categories. How are the defining? And deal in. And deals with world. So, okay. So, full blooded. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. And Lose to all to all checks, including fighting, but gain plus three D plus three die to fighting checks. Oh wait, uh three. Wings, a set of arms, set of legs. Uh, got a low light vision, dark vision. Uh, that blind. Uh, actually, what I should add is... Uh, love him. Better short wings. If the race is small or below, the race gains a, a minimal flight, a minimal, a minimal flight speed. Gains a rudimentary ability to to fly. But lo but loses one wound per tier. Uh, that is going to be a ten and the long wings. If the race is average, low, the race gains a rudimentary ability to fly, but lose.
All right. A uh, set of arms is going to be five. Set of legs is going to be five. Low light vision is going to be five. Dark vision is going to be ten. Blind is going to be a negative ten because you are fucking blind. Uh, or below. Cannot hold any cannot hold anything in, in wing arms. Set of arms. The race possesses a second set of arm. A second or third set of arms. This is a second or third set of legs. Ola uh, a second set of arms to hold additional equip additional equipment or supplies. Race has a second set of legs to allow faster traversal. Or employ their own net. Uh, so it's a lot faster traversal, adding a plus one to their movement. Low light vision. Yes. In low light conditions, negating any penalty to sight in such conditions. The right, uh, uh, the race can see in see in the dark. Race negates any penalties. To seeing things in the dark or navigating during the during the night. so much to write but we're gonna keep it on we've been at this about an hour 15 and the notepad must die stream so we're we're cut we're going along uh i like conditions Actually, let's do three and eight blind. Well, what, what's the penalty of being blind? You're fucking blind. Oh, jeez. Okay, so what I need to do now is I'm going to pull up something. I'm going to pull up. I'm going to Google Ogre. Uh, Alright, so this is where things get... This is where things start getting a little bit complex. I'm going to put this right in the dead center middle so I can uh all right so let's take
Oh god. So what what makes ogres ogery? I'm even wondering, like, what I'm actually doing here. What I'm doing is I'm trying to take a look at everything and just see what I can find about them more than anything. Uh, wait a second. Uh, let's add Rocky. Bonus wounds. Something like that. Make sure we already have bonus wounds. Oh, wait a second. Oh, uh... Subterranean. Uh, subterranean, let's say, uh, a bonus population city size. Actually, bonus population center size. Size, because you're just naturally, you're able to live underground a hell of a lot easier. Uh,. Oh, wait a second. Uh, natural weapons. Natural, we have natural, we'll use, say natural weapons. Uh, natural armor. Actually, I will, yeah, we'll put natural armor on there. Hmm. Oh, wait, um... So if we use these, if we use these, like, these guys as an idea, like the lizard men, we got the natural armor, uh... You can fluff the natural yeah, natural weapons, has the teeth, natural armor, as kind of like your scales. Uh, your wings there. No way it affected. Uh, let's see, tail. What I should probably do is a short tail, long tail. Actually, no, we can just do tail. Fluff it as you wish. Uh, just natural. Teeth. Teeth, short, stocky. Ah, what's that word? <laughs> that like word.
So if we use something like um, pet like, we'll use pet like and hideous. Pretty much pet like is uh, people naturally a uh, bonus to die when dealing with when dealing with others. Lose die when dealing with others. Oh, I'll albino penalty in sunlight. Wooly. Uh, ignore penalties for cold conditions. Under some good fantasy races. What are some good, terrifying, big fantasy races that do fantasy race stuff? Oh, yeah, buzz, buzz. Let's see, orc, orger, goblin, lizard men. Oh, I know. Uh, regenerative, regenerative. Yeah, we got the troll. Your know, traditional troll. They're a bit big. They're a bit stupid. Hmm. Let's say servile and solitary. <laughs> we'll put mutant. Actually, we'll put mutants in six here. Uh, the priest. Every age, the race gains plus ten to their to their racial modifier. I'm actually uh, every champion may make a decision. May take in an additional trait. Additional racial traits of their choice, but they uh, actually every champion takes takes an additional racial trait of their choice, but they lose but they lose negative one one wound per tier. Negative five relations to all empire. To all empires, popular 
population requires double food double food to grow cost uh negative we'll say negative actually we'll call it five actually not 50 no no ten five fifty actually 15 10 five And we bring our list up here. So subterranean. Subterranean. Liver come and and live come. Uh, this race is, this race is population count is considered 0.5. It is considered 0.5 for purposes of the, actually, all population centers holding this, this race. Yes, gains plus two size. Gains plus two size. Yeah, the idea is that you're pretty much hiding underneath. You know, you you are just expanding the more room you have, which means you can get these massive fucking places. Uh, wait a second. I need to find. Oh god, um Tentacles. Oh god, what's the word I'm looking for? Um Here, uh Okay, so Craver's work. Yeah, one of the difficulties that I'm kind of dealing with right now is like, how do you deal with this? How do you deal with these ideas there? You know, because this is how the Unfallen work, which is a pain in the goddamn ass. Oh, hi, Sophons. Fuck the Sophons, by the way. Uh... Yeah. This is going to be kind of hard to do and pull off, but I can make it work. I think I'm going to use the term of bitch. Appendages? Okay, yeah, that works. I think that's. Appendages. To, uh, also, hello, Salmon. Uh, to give you the uh, idea of the, the nightmare that I've been going through. I don't know how long you've been here, but uh, yeah, we have all of these to worry about, and we still have to add all of these fucking things. Uh, so... That's great! I'm having a ball! 
But you gotta add them all because you gotta put them on everything in. So we need tails. Put all these in. There's gonna, this is gonna be so many fucking pages. Uh, pet like, hideous. Albino. Wooly. Wooly. Yeah, no, these are all parts that you, yes, you can take on your particular race of your choice. And every single one is going to be slightly different. And these are kind of the more unique ones. Like, oh, hey, we're literal fucking cannibals, or we're constructs, we're undead, we're mutants. Uh, I'm still debating on how I want to do that. Uh, give me one second. I need to explain something to someone in my server. Ah, uh, fuck, that just reminded me. Um, aquatic. All right. Uh, okay, this is fine. I'm fine. Everything is fine. No, Steam, I do not wish to open you. Okay, so natural weapon... Uh, let's see how I want to do combat. So combat, the idea is that it's target number, uh, target number to hit is equal to the pass, equal to the passive. And then our weapons give bonus dice. Weapons are just, weapons are wounds, are wound bonuses, or to hit bonuses. So actually, the race has a, uh, the race has a weapon that deals, deals a wound, a number of wounds dependent on how many times this has been purchased can be purchased can be purchased repeatedly for different different weapons and we'll call it at a three armor really resilient to uh in conditioning uh the race has a natural armor value equal to the number of times this has been purchased and we're going to make that at a five per armor and we'll set that three per wound No, no, no. 
I'm gonna plus one D finesse. One die to the finesse. Say five per tail, because yes, you can have multiple tails if you really want to. I mean, I guess that's that's an option. <laughs> God, we haven't even hit that. Yeah, I know, Sam. And I actually, um, the other day, I, I don't know if you you saw, but I actually finished up your communist orcs. The communist orcs are done. They actually worked pretty damn well. Their entire strategy boiled down to wave motion attacks and being really autocratic about everything. They also didn't believe in God, therefore they had really shitty magic. And remember kids, the only magic we have is the magic of communism. Uh, what we'll do here actually. I'm gonna make it a little bit expensive. Uh, gains plus one wound per tier because we're gonna have to use tier based serval. Have a companion, have a companion slot, and it's gonna be five. Solitary, the rate. A double takes out two companion slots. One second, I'm make an unfallen joke. Unfallen. There we go. Force piece with no survivors. Except if you're the fucking Void Yon, hey, but we don't deal with them. The race. race has a number of appendages like a double a singular arms legs or anything else really uh There we go. Two per appendage. Uh, pet like.
dealing with others of a different race. And then hideous, the race is a hideous abomination and terrifying to look upon. The race loses negative 1D bravado. So when dealing with others of a different race. And we're going to give this a 5. We're going to make this a negative 5 because that's actually pretty bad. Albino race is albino with natural thin skin susceptible to burning and deathly white and deathly white the right race has a negative 1d to all checks but when it in a hot location or during the day. And we're going to give that a minus 10. Uh, the race has a what am I looking for here? What's the word I'm looking for? Well, the most reason for pet like, because I was looking at uh, things like. Like goblins, for example. And what one thing I always find is it's like this. Like there's like this deliberate attempt to like look at it. Look at the cute goblin. Go cute. Look at him. It's it, aren't they so adorable? Don't you just want to pat him on the head and, you know, say, oh, look at the cute goblin, do cute goblin things? The idea is I want to get across that, like, your people don't think you're actually that threatening. Just in case you also want to kind of get that weird gap moe in there. Yeah, people naturally just do not think you're threatening. Yeah, you're pet-like. You're just something that people are like, ah, oh, look, he's adorable. He won't hurt us. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, uh, this entity, this thing won't hurt us. Yeah, no, I get it. It's kind of that gap moe idea. I didn't want to be like, you're just, you're just really pretty. Being like, that can be a part of it. But again, you get these weird, weird things of like anime goblins, I think is a good one. Let's see, uh, anime. I'm going to get some weird shit. <laughs> anime goblins. Yeah, you get shit like this. Or you end up with all these various goblins. Now, mind you, you do also get these things. Goblin Slayer goblins. Which, in case, these guys aren't, don't fall into that. They're not, you know, they're not something people are going to, like, want to pat on the fucking head, exactly. Uh, but, like, oh, hey, we want to pat these goblins on the head. Because we naturally kind of like these things. But it's also, it's, it's a, um... There, there's actually an evolutionary term for it. I cannot think of what it's called. But... Well, I can't remember what the term is, but it's like, it's the same term of like, why we naturally want to protect like babies, for example. Or how like we, like how dogs have evolved over the years. Like they're just naturally kind of like, oh, well we want to, we naturally... Our head says, oh, look, he's the nice little dog. He's got big eyes, and he's just like, oh, look at me. He might be a ferocious fucking animal that the second you put your hand close, he's going to bite your hand off. But it's just like our brain naturally just like, oh, pet, pet goblin, pet goblin. You know, look at him. He's big eyes and looks so stupid. And like, I want to pet them. That's kind of like where the idea of pet light comes from. I, I can't think of the word. If I knew the word, I would use that, but I can't get it in my mind uh, the...
Um, make that pretty cheap. So, okay, we've got all of these fucking traits. Uh, the unique ones. Uh, actually, wait. Okay, aquatic. What I should put in because I forgot that. Sectoids. Why is why is this here? Okay. Uh the life in the sea. Main habit a C. Main habit a C. They gain food. They gain food. They gain actually plus two food, science, and culture for every population unit. Population unit. They also. Gain a plus three to their population center size because they're in the fucking ocean. Side effect. The race require the race requires access to access to water either by being in a coastal region. Oh. Or in a region with a lake river to function properly if they if they are, are not able to they lose each uh, they lose all yields from that region all right, we're gonna give that we're gonna make that up Five, because again, if you want to be aquatic, being aquatic's really cool until you realize you don't actually gain industry. <laughs> there we go. Yep, that's the word. <laughs> yeah, are we applying that word? Yes. Yeah, that was that was the word I was looking for. Like I I knew it. Like I'm like there is a term for it. But I'm like what the fuck is it? Uh let's see. Uh, uh sex aquatic. Yeah, so, uh, is insectoid. Actually, no, I don't think I need that. If you want to do something insectoid, you need to adapt your society a little bit more. Which reminds me, if we're going off society, that means... Lifestyle. Oh no, okay, we need to hit that button. Lifestyle, horde, city-state, unique lifestyle.
three minutes. Plus one. Plus one to all resources. However, however, on simple simple commands. So, all purchases, all purchases, all resource purposes purchases are doubled in cost and that's going to be a solid 15 yeah Clint. welcome to gap moe eh? like it's one of those things like it's literally a gap moe eh? that's the only way i can really describe it yeah, it's like, oh, hey, we naturally consider these things to be, you know, cute. So, but if you want to be, like, a massive, like, 10-foot-tall ogre creature, but you have these nat, but it's like, oh, we're naturally kind of cute, so thank people like, oh, look at them, they're so adorable, and still break someone's kneecaps, yeah, you can't, that's entirely, per yeah, that's an entire thing. Or, hey, we're fucking carnivores, or some, you know, some ungodly thing like that. Uh, let's see, so we've got all of these... Uh, I feel like I'm missing something. What am I missing? Uh, aquatic, mutants, undead, construct, cannibalism. What am I missing? Oh, wait a second. I know what I have to do. Um, actually, how do I want to do this? Oh, wait. I got to put it. Uh, tinker. Tinker. Forgot. Oh, how I forgot. I forgot to add the tinker. Uh, tinker. Tinkers. Let's see. Each. build in their free time they gain plus 2d plus they gain plus two dice when they are partaking in their hobby and that's going to be a five oh flying yes flying's already in uh here's all the various methods of flying uh short wings the advantage of short wings is that smaller below but they cost a little bit less but you lose a little bit of wounds so like really tiny races they have to kind of buy up a little bit so it's a little bit more expensive for them but obviously you'll be able to fucking fly which is already its big advantage but long wings are kind of the uh, main one I'd say rudimentary ability to fly like i don't want like full-on 
like, hey, BRB, let me just fly away real fast. Flying in any capacity is a pain in the fucking ass to deal with. <laughs> I do not care what game it is. I do not care about what world it is. I've never encountered a good system that handles flying well. And I think the main reason is just the, the Z-axis screws with so many people in our own mind because... Hi, phone. Uh... Okay, uh, I guess my phone just forgot to tell me I got a text message, I guess. <laughs> cool phone, that's awesome. Uh, wait a second, where are you on? What the fuck? Okay, battery saver on for some reason. Uh, is there anything else I forgot to add? Uh, no, but what I need to do, uh... So what I'm, uh, what's the word, uh, what's the word, it's a great word, uh, there we go, racial panoply. Actually, uh, type bonds with four other ra with up to four other races. We're evolved with, we're evolved with them. We're evolved, we're evolved from a single core species, a core race. They cannot, and they cannot integrate others. However. Uh, we're going to give that a solid 10. You may be wondering, how oh, bad, what the hell is this supposed to represent? I, I completely forgot one key thing that I needed to bring in. You're right, it's our boys. It's it's Hivers. It's it's all it's it's the fucking Hivers, everyone. We're bringing in beep. Uh, yeah. Emma, can you indirectly use this to run a Kenshi game? I've I've learned that you can inadvertently, accidentally, maybe use this game to run a Kenshi system. Uh, do I recommend it? Absolutely not. Because if I wanted to do a Kenshi game, I I would. But what the? That's not. That's not how this works. Let's see if we can we can. Oh my god, we have RimWorld, fucking RimWorld mods with this. Okay, you know what? No, 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 no. Bad, bad notepad. Stop looking. <laughs> Beep only. Hey, I did a hyper only run in Kenshi. That was really fun. <laughs> You're such a weird band of cripples by like your first couple fights because everyone loses limbs so quickly. Being like, yep, yeah, here's all our cybernetic limbs among us, like 20 fucking, you know, hive soldiers and hive drones. But it, it, any fight immediately kind of boils down to throwing more bodies at the enemy until they die or run away. Yeah, the homeless people didn't much appreciate me after I ganked them for the ninth time. Okay, now things are going to get a little bit complicated. So, we've got all our basic traits. I'm going to actually have to put in there that, you know, it's... Feel free to, you know, edit as you will. Uh, what I should do is center it. Uh, traits, data, create a filter... These are going to be our basic traits. Uh, actually, what I should do... Z. I'm going to put... These over here. Put 
the size ones into their own little category because size is kind of important on itself so i don't want i don't want those kind of get like oh i can be huge and small at the same time lamount like no i don't want that so overall there is Uh, let, 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 oh, there's 41 traits you can pick, and I'm going to have to put in a fucking note, of course, of, hey, you, you can just make your own if you feel like I literally cannot stop you. So let's paste on links. Oh, it's gonna fucking kill itself. Oh, God, it does not like these charts. Okay, how how many words is this this? How many? I gotta I gotta figure out word count. Oh god, it's twelve hundred. Oh no. It does not it does not appreciate whatever the hell I'm trying to do here. Alright. Uh, they enjoy warmer climates, different material, resistance, resistant, burns, different, possesses, possesses, conditioning, damage, repeatedly different, dependent, resistance. Okay, so, what we get to do now is we get to determine which ones are, uh, I can actually extend this out a little bit, going to extend you out a smidge, but I can do table properties, center it, middle, can I extend the constant? That means I can put, so carnivore. So all of these, gotta get selected, control X. Select all of these again. Come on, come on, I believe in you. I believe in you, Google Docs. Google, Google Docs does not appreciate this fun fact. I'm gonna paste this. We'll do the same thing here. In case you're wondering why I have to do this, is because Google Docs dislikes. Uh, actually, let me let me rephrase that. Google Docs absolutely fucking despises tables. And if you do not do this, it will fuck your tables up to, to holy hell and there's nothing you can do about it uh unless you get kind of lucky like this you can kind of make them work but very rarely do things ever work out that way because this happens a lot so what you have to do is you just have to select everything and what i might do here is grab sub go down to subterranean paste it here delete these delete six rows take that put an image right there what yeah because we're not gonna have a lot of that a lot of images here which is gonna be kind of an issue because i like having images unless i move things down further If I do something like, whoa, okay, it does not appreciate whatever the fuck I just did there. This is what I mean, it doesn't like what I did, oh god, help. Uh, delete two rows. Insert row above. Insert row above. 
you know, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to leave like image there, image there, a few charts. That's going to be kind of annoying to read through, but let's see what I can do is I can go like that. Put it right there, then put Krishna. Probably. Probably going to have to fix this up just to make sure that it actually fucking fits. Alright. Uh, image. Image. Yeah, okay, everything works here. So now I get to go down one more, go here, go to six, do our unique traits, which are a little bit different. Paste on links. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to break. Uh, unique traits, put that like right there. Is that going to fit? That's going to fit perfectly. Cost way over there. Side fix, put that right there. When you have these really thick ones, it does get a little bit, you kind of have to just play with it. To kind of get it the way you want it to. Uh... Extend out side effects a little bit. Shrink that down. Okay, we've got everything to fit here. All right. However, they however they do not require a check to repair. Perfect. Now we get to go through all our charts. Hit the little black button. Make sure that they all look right. If you don't, you know, Google Docs hates everything. <laughs> All right, now, now's the moment of truth. We need to make a race. Uh, let's think. What would be a fun race to make? You know what? Let's... Yeah, we, we made the communist orc state. Let's just make our basic commie orcs. Commie orcs. So, body, bravado, finesse. Uh, we have 50 points to spend on these guys. So, 50 points to spend. And we're going to spend our 50 points. So, Kami Orcs are naturally going to be a bit tough. So, our attributes are going to be Body, Bravado, Finesse, Reason, Spirit. Uh, we'll make ourselves D10 here, put 15 there. Bravado, we're going to give us a D8. Finesse, we're not going to be terribly Finesse. D6. D4 spirit, because we really do not give a shit about God. We're not really agile, but we're pretty damn strong overall. So that's 25 points. So half our points have already gone into our attributes. So our... So our skills now. Uh, we are going to actually, we need to per actually, uh, insert column to the, no, nope. Insert column to the left, insert column to the left. Uh, so, actually, we don't need this. Delete column. Skill cost, actually, number of skill. Skill cost one, two, three, four, five. Mm. 
actually no let's cut this when we go back you'll die cost for and then he can get another ray. Oh, to be kind of close. Each skill, each skill costs five of the race's creation creation points to add. And we have our skill die. So, our skills. We are going to be naturally skilled melee weapons. However, we are not going to be too skilled. We're only going to be having a D6 in them. So we're going to be spending nine of our points. So we're going to go down to, it would be 16. Now we get a little bit wacky. All right. Traits. Berserker. And we get mad very quickly. So we, are, we are Kami Orcs. Hmm, that's some good ones. Obviously, actually, wait a wait a goddamn second. I didn't put the fucking height in there. Size traits. So, actually, our base size, we're going to be tall people. So we're going to be about six to eight feet tall of raw orc might. We're going to have the berserker ability. We're going... Actually, we're also going to be... See, we've got. We actually don't have. We only have one point left. Let's see if we can't spend it on something to get that back up. Yeah, picture just a seven foot tall green man approaching you, being you know, asking you if, you, if you've been serving the state properly. I'm like, oh god, no, please, not like this. Uh, you know what? I don't think they're actually going to take anything else. I think this is this is them pretty well. So yeah, here's here's your race. It's like the most basic race you can probably get. You got one point left over, but yeah, body, bravado, finesse, reason, skills, you got your melee weapons, you're very tall, you're natural berserkers, so you get into fights pretty easy. Uh we can do even something if we really wanted to, we can go into something a little bit even wackier. So let's do Let's make a really basic goblin. Actually, we'll call them pet goblins. <sighs> These guys' entire thing is that they love... They like people. They like, get, they like talking with people. They like dealing with people. And they're going to keep dealing with people, whether you like it or not. So, they're going to have very bad body... They're going to have pretty decent bravado. 
you're going to be able to manipulate people pretty simply. So that's going to be their entire thing. That they they infiltrate and then they just befriend everyone whether you like it or not. Uh, we'll give them a D8 to their finesse as well. Reason that these guys are not terribly smart. Spirit, they're going to be a little bit spiritual. So they're, they spent 25 points of their initial points and their attributes. Uh, they're going to have no skills. Actually, what I can give them. Uh, domestic work. D D6 domestic work. Four, that'll be five. That'll be for nine points. Uh, we'll call it. That'll be down to 16. It might change. It won't change the cost of anything. It's going to be these because they're a little bit awkward. Uh, they are going to be small, though. They're going to be small people. So they get 11 points to play with. However, they are going to pick Fragile up. With negative 3 points. So that's going to bump them up to 14. Uh, Kindashima. Dumb humans. Boy, more like them humans. Oh god, what would be Oh yeah, actually uh tinkers. Let's give them let's give them tinkers so they can play around with stuff. And we want to make these guys as adorable as possible. So they're actually going to pick up Servile as, Servile as well. So they got four points to fuck around with now. Lest we give them poison weakness. For negative five. Bump it up back up to nine. Probably get rid of fragile then if we do that, so we can bring it down to six. Let's see, is there any way we can, any place that we can use six points? Uh, you know what? There is a way we can, we can use six points. Yeah, I think the skill cost is a little bit fucked. Let's bump the reason up just a smidge. All right, so yeah, here's our pet goblins. So, uh, pet goblins, they're really weak. They're really, they're fairly charismatic, pretty average, uh, charismatic. They're kind of stupid. They're not very spiritual. They're really good at doing your laundry. They are small, naturally adorable. They like fucking around with things. They will fall in line easily, but you could poison them quickly. These are the little, these are the little shitheads that would like try to eat random things and get poisoned and die from it. Be like, oh god, no, he's eating chocolate. Oh god. Now, if I really wanted to be cancerous, I would probably give them something that, like, if I had it in here, I would probably give them something even, like, worse just to amplify the numbers of them. It's never just one pet goblin. No, there's always, like, seven of them. <laughs> All right. So, this at least proves that it works. Skills, I'm going to have to do the math over again. I don't think skills, like... Everything else is based off fives, so those being kind of at a weird number, you know, those being odd numbers kind of 
actually, I was just say those not being odd numbers kind of screws up the math a smidge. So, going to have to fix this up just a smidge. I might change the cost here. I don't quite know how I want to do that yet. But, overall, it has proven these do work. Now, what I'm going to have to do now is do the really unfun part. <laughs> Gotta... Let me just select everything here. Oh god. Oh god, I'm not ready. Life of Chaos. Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt a lot. Put it right here. We'll make it normal text. Okay, it's added everything in. Alright. Alright, oh, okay. How how many pages are we? Oh god, we're at twelve thousand words. Oh, oh no. Yeah, we are at twelve thousand fucking words. And we haven't even hit character creation yet. Oh man. Yeah, that's gonna be tomorrow. Um, uh, but everything is working here. And I think we're good. So, you know, this notepad must die session is at an end. Oh. Fun fact, I still had coffee in my cup. And now I have coffee over me. That's inconvenient. But, uh... We are done. We did it, boys. Uh, this is 12,000 words, so this is 58 fucking pages. Holy shit. So we've got this done. <laughs> we still got it. Okay, so tomorrow. Yeah, so tomorrow we're going to try to get champion creation done. We're going to do pretty much my goal is to get all of this done on tomorrow champion creation champion actions combat and mass combat is probably going to get folded under here uh it's kind of a side thing but overall let's say again this is going to be uh friday this will be next monday this will be wednesday that's my that's my goal as of right now i might do some little things here even though this Saturday, let so I can close out all of these. Now, Saturday we're going to look at a very fun, very fun little thing that uh, you, you, you're going to what get you're going to witness me drinking myself into a fucking coma over. Yeah, welcome, welcome to Swords Fall. Uh, Swords Fall is. A project that's exactly what you think it might be y you say that you know, we was tabletop RPGs but it's so much worse than that I think that's the part that really you know amplifies it now I I am a smart boy I have I've infiltrated uh, well, I'm in uh, apparently I'm I'm in a group of T Core's finest. Oh, I, I, okay. This didn't work last time, so let's. Can I go to the forums now? No, I. There, there are no forums. Fun facts. Even though they say, it. I, I was promised forums. Uh, there are no form. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Page not found. Oh no. It's like that. Like that, Sammy. However, it gets worse when you realize that the entire setting is Wakanda. And there are no... A, there are no white people in this setting. And there have been no wars outside the one war in which everyone decided to invent giant robots. Now, this seems like a pretty developed website, doesn't it? 
uh here's the here's the secret here's the here's the catch here's the the little the little gotcha moment when you realize things have gotten real fucked uh not really black gundam more like black lancer except worse um there's no game he keeps saying there is but there isn't uh and I'm going to go over this a little bit more on on a Saturday. But uh look at the members of this group. I need... Yeah, look. Look at all these fucking people. I don't even know who the fuck half these people. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> you know deep infiltration. Like I don't think many people have actually signed up for this thing. Like, there used to be a forms option, and there's not a forms option anymore. I'm very confused. Uh, yeah, no, here are... Here's the shop. Uh. <laughs> no, there isn't a game. There's supposed to be a game, but there is, in fact, not a game. Uh. So, this is... This is kind of how I can it kind of it's it's confusing but this guy is writing a game based off Genesis. It's like okay, it's based off Genesis, but it's not based off Genesis. But he's also doing his own thing. And these are mind you, these are all of the careers here. And it's like, okay, let, let's, I'm going to click on a random one. Um, all right, Masquerader. Let's see. Yeah, you may say, oh, wow, there's a lot here. No, there's nothing here. There's no book. There's no system. There's nothing here. <laughs> there's nothing here. Oops. Nothing here. He, like, wrote a hack for the game already, which is weird. And, like, another weird thing is he wrote a... He did a Kickstarter for this already. Like he did a, Last year, he did a Kickstarter for it. And it made its money, but he was like, Oh, well, it's a, it's a, syst it's a setting book. There's no system attached to it yet. And this is the... Uh, it, it, you get some, like, weird things here. Like, oh, here's the tracker... He's a ra melee range DPS. Or you get like the invoker. And it's like these weird things like range DPSs. Tanks, scholarly shield warriors. And it's like all a narrative system. Like it's. It's incredibly bizarre. Like that, and that's what I'm going to be going over, like effectively, this Saturday is I'm going to go over every little part of this because again, there's nothing here. That's the that's the bizarre part. There's actually nothing here. Like there's no product, there's no RPG for this game about this RPG thing. But it looks like there is. Oh hey, look everyone, you can get the the twelve dollar twelve dollar mug or you can get the hat or you can get the fucking shirt or the, the, the jerk the sweatshirt or the throw blanket. Like you can get all this like random shit. Like this is the thing that I, I was like really confused about. Cause this is a physical book. This isn't even a like uh like uh, like a PDF or anything. Honestly, yeah, that's what I thought it was at first. I honestly thought. But it's like... It... No, I don't... Like, the thing is, I don't understand. Like, this is 30 bucks, and it's like, oh, it's a it's a book book. Because you have to get it shipped. But you also have this little bit. Current version, 0.57. This isn't even a complete book. You're not even buying a complete book. Like, that's the weird part. And uh, again, I thought it was like, oh, it's a, it obviously has to be a, like a PDF or something, because no one in their right fucking mind would sell a book of a game that doesn't work. 
which is a hack of a game that's not out yet. Mind you, this is a literally a Naruto hack of a game that isn't out. And I don't think ever will be. But he's selling the book. And, people, I, and the thing is, like, I've seen people buy the book. Because in the corner it always says, like, oh, hey, here, someone bought the book from Virginia, or someone bought the book from this. And it's like, why? But why? <laughs> why would you? Look, like, someone just bought it from fucking New York. Like, this is the, like, someone bought the comic, Rise of Nubia. Like, what? Like, this is like, a, you know, this is a physical book. When swords fall, the most popular character. Who? Who? Like, I'm just confused. Like, I'm just so bamboozled about, like, what the fuck this is. And that's why I really want to look into it. I'm going to. Saturday, I'm going to look pretty hardcore into all of this, but, like, I, I, it's one of those things, I kind of want to get it out, there. I want to preserve it, you know, have some record of that this exists before it, because, honestly, it might be gone tomorrow, this entire thing might collapse overnight, and it'll just be gone, that's the bizarre part about it, and that's why I kind of want to just, like, I need to introduce people to it and be like look at this thing that exists because it makes no fucking sense because i looked at this um a few weeks ago like about a month or two ago and this wasn't even the website like the website was completely different because he changed things and he changes things a lot and also fun fact the guys from like chicago like it, it's very odd but uh I will, uh, I'll, I'll send you a send off here. So thank you all for watching. Uh, Godspeed, good luck. Uh, tomorrow I'll be going over more things, and Saturday we're doing the Curious Case Swords Fall. So if you don't make it tomorrow, feel free to pop in on Saturday and you get to see me lose my goddamn mind. Uh, trying to find as much in this site as possible. And also, the site runs like ass. <laughs> but fun fact this runs like complete ass. So, uh, yeah, goodbye. I'll catch you on.